Hey folks, Nintendo here. This is a quick look at 5 underrated crafts that you need to know. I'll do my best to explain why each item is useful and how to craft them. From now on, when I see a large animal like a cow in a field, instead of picturing a stovetop full of steak, picture instead one of the best backpacks in the game. The leather backpack is a 63 slot with a very low profile so it won't stick out as much when you move around the map. To craft the leather backpack, first you'll need a pelt. Each animal will have a different chance to drop a pelt. Generally, the larger animals though, should drop a pelt. Once you do have a pelt, combine it with garden lime, often found in sheds, to craft tanned leather. Combine two tanned leather with a leather sewing kit to craft the leather backpack. The darkness can be a real pain in Daisy, even more so on servers with Dark Knight enabled. Oftentimes, Daisy servers will start you with a simple glow stick, but it's not a great source of light and leaves a lot to be desired. Crafting a torch will give you a massive amount of light and make looting a lot easier. Keep in mind, other players will be able to see you too. So typically, I will do this when I'm a fresh spawn off the coast and I really don't have anything to lose. The craft is very simple and you can often do this right out of spawn. Combine rags with a long stick to craft a torch. Keep adding rags to make the torch last longer. The torch does have some other benefits too. If you're on the PC, you'll have access to maps such as Namalsk with cold weather. The torch can keep you warm and also thaw cans of food in your bags. The double shoddy is one of the best weapons in the game. It's often called the great equalizer because it is so effective at close range, even at times versus players protected with armor. With that said, once you really start to get geared and have multiple high tier weapons, it's sometimes hard to justify keeping the double shotgun around. A nice compromise is to saw off the shotgun and place it in your backpack. You can combine a hacksaw with the shotgun to make the sawed off shotgun. The ghillie is undoubtedly one of the best camos in the game, but it takes a lot of time and materials to make. A nice compromise is crafting the ghillie shrug. When laying prone or hiding in the bushes, you still have excellent camo. To craft the shrug, you'll need a burlap bag and netting, both often found in industrial sheds and garages. Cut up the burlap bag into strips with a knife. Combine four burlap strips with two netting to craft the ghillie shrug. Lastly, we have a simple one, but it's a craft I use very often recently and it's something I could have used more in the past. Anytime you cut up a large animal or a player, you'll receive guts. All you need is a knife to turn those guts into a rope. Sounds simple, but rope does have a variety of uses, such as tying up players, making a rope belt to hold a knife, or using rope combined with a burlap sack to craft a bag. Rope is also a key ingredient in base building kits, such as fence, watchtower, and flagpole kits. And I can't forget to mention, need a rope when you're gonna go fishing. If you made it to the end, this time leave a comment with a simple yo. <laughs> I'm live on Twitch a couple times a week. I hope to see you there. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.